All right, we got us uh, FW6AEL. And a complaint on this one, slipping and jerking and whining. <laughs> 40 torques on the case bolts. And these uh, bolts, they recommend that you replace them. It doesn't say that the torque to yield. It just says they have sealer on them and they recommend they be replaced. I don't understand why you can't just put, put new sealer on it. But all these, all these bolts, they recommend that you replace them. Forty torques on the back also. I'm not sure about right here. I think that the whole connector is supposed to come out, so I'm going to take this clamp off. Ten millimeter on the pan.
on the filter bolts. Tins on the valve body. seal on the outside it's kind of grabbing onto the valve body we got one two three four seals it looks like between the valve body and the parts in the case Breaking anything. this together for the momentary <clears throat> we got us a tube going through here short bend at the bottom looks like we got us three seals on the back here sun gear with the bearing a little bearing on top of the planet We got our snap ring opening at the two o'clock position. Looks like our sprag turns counterclockwise, locks clockwise. Let's see if this planet's going to come out. Look okay there. Bearing feels okay. Sun gear. The tip facing down. Sprague goes with the dimples facing down. This is a bit of a strange looking unit right here. Clutches are burnt. Molded piston looks like it should come out.
fair amount of metal here. Alright, the piston will not come out without that planet coming out. like there's another tube in there another seal on top of that all right baffle comes out differential Spider gears look okay. Bearings look okay. Wonder where all this metal's coming from. Let's see what fell out the back. Looks like sun gear. Doesn't look like it has a difference. torques on here again all right looks like 30 torques Got a tube down inside. Our transfer gear does not look like there's a difference. Bearing here on our drum. Shaft. Bearing here. Feels okay. Hub. And another bearing feels okay. Another hub. Race. Oh, a bearing. Feels okay. Transfer gear. Everything looks okay there. Alright, there's our problem. Okay, I'm not going to take this out. Because what I read on here is when you try to take this apart, it's going to ruin the bearing anyway. The only way you can get the bearing is to buy the case. 
and uh, it takes 369 foot-pounds of torque on this nut don't have the socket for it I don't have a 369 foot-pound torque wrench uh, so I think the odds of us getting to build this thing the next video. Let's see what our pump looks like. Alright. Does not look like. Oh, there is a dot and it faces down. Both of them have a dot and they face down. This drum here is welded together. Uh, it's recommended that it be replaced on every rebuild. There's a molded piston and a return spring. That's down inside of there. Um, you can't get to it. They do sell it. They say they sell the piston and kit, which I don't know why they sell the piston if you can't replace it. Those are toast. And this is the high clutches I believe. These are the low and these are the high. If we end up uh, putting this back together I'm going to destroy this drum and take it apart. And all this will be on the Patreon side. And See no point in going any further. We'll see what uh, ends up happening here. You have to buy a case half. You have to buy the drum. I'm not sure about the valve body. Okay, I'll get this written up, and we'll see you on the, either the recase or the rebuild. All right, forgot about this drum. Yeah, uh, we'll go ahead and take it apart. It's 40 torques also. 40? No, 30. Have it. <clears throat> okay. Got some molded piston, uh, return spring, line up on the dowels, and a planet here, bearing on each side. Feels okay. There's a set of clutches here. Ring gear, another set of clutches, snap ring opening is over here, Another molded piston and another bearing. No ceiling rings there. Okay. Alright, now let me go write this thing up.